Hello everybody, it's Amber Kivett. I am super excited to be doing a workout with you today. Um, today is gonna be a beginner's workout. So if you're just getting started with one of the Life Pro whole body vibration platforms, or you're just getting started with the B3 bands, um, today is just more of a beginner's workout to get a really good burn going on and to build some confidence and just to get started. So um, I'm gonna be using today the Life Pro uh, waiver press and I'm gonna be doing a lot of upper body. We're gonna be doing two 10 minute workouts and then one 10 minute um, supercharged core pelvic floor workout at the very end without the device. Um, so for today, if you have the B3 bands, I'm only using my arm bands because today is a 1980s theme workout. I have had so many people contact me and say, hey, can you switch up the playlist a little bit? We'd like to hear something of our own um, era, if you will. <laughs> so today is a 1980s playlist. Um, for those who are interested and if you don't like the music just watch what i'm doing and turn off the sound um but a big thank you to top rated entertainment for letting me use your playlist today um it is not your original um 1980s music because of copyright we can't play original hits so you're going to hear some familiar um songs and some familiar sounds so but it is not original but um nonetheless it gives us something to focus on so um i am featuring my fun bridges today i, I always tell people it's really important to get out and get a little sense of adventure and uh, because we can't get out i'm seeking adventure in my own home by wearing pleather pants to go along with the 1980s theme so um hopefully you guys have fun with this one but for today um you're just gonna need um whatever platform you've got um, I'm going to be using just the light resistance bands that come with the platform and then um, my Mark Bell hip circle booty band. Um, I can send you guys information if you're interested on how to get a hold of this. And if you're interested in the B3 bands, um, make sure and contact me if you have questions. It's 317-446-7971 if you have questions and um, I can send you some information. On the waiver press, um, I'm going to be using a moderate level level speed so on the rumblex if you have the rumblex platform you want to choose uh, manual mode for this one or do p1 or p3 because the p2 is going to be way too intense for what we're going to be doing with upper body so make sure if you are using the rumblex that you go with manual mode uh, function and um, if you choose lower level speed like anywhere from a 1 to a 10 because we're going to be in this position with our hands down for a lot of this and it's a lot of jarring on the head if you have a higher level so um, i'm choosing to go with the waiver press because i've got it and i don't use it very often so i'm excited to use this one today if you have the regular uh, waiver or turbo or hovert or whatever it is you got um, you can use any platform you have or you don't have to use one at all if you just want to jump in and do these uh, exercises with us you don't have to have a platform to do them. You don't have to have the bands. Just jump in and get us get going with us and, and let's have some fun. Um, make sure you got your water. Um, if you do have a platform and you're having trouble with keeping it in position or having trouble with keeping it from vibrating too much, especially when you're trying to stabilize, I've got mine on a non-slip yoga mat. Um, and I love that. And then I've got my knees on this thin mat that I got at like TJ Maxx for 10 bucks. So um, just whatever you need to do to get comfortable. And remember, I'm gonna teach you basic beginner movements that we're going to progress into much harder movements. Um, and we're gonna do two 10 minute sessions of this. Actually, I lied. We're gonna do a, 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 work, a mine set up for 15 minutes. Nonetheless, we're gonna go 10 minutes. I, we're, we're gonna do 10 minutes and I'll just cut mine short and just reset it. So two 10 minute programs. Um, so if you wanna cut out early and, and just do upper body with us, that's fine. But the first 10 minutes is all upper body. Second 10 minutes will be a lot of core stabilization and lower. And then um, we will finish with deep abdominals, pelvic floor breathing on the floor with, with nothing, okay? All right, let's have some fun. Make sure you got your fluids and enjoy. Remember, music is it's just motivational. All right, so let's go ahead and pick a program. I'm gonna go with a P3. You pick whatever you want. And so we're just letting our hands relax here. And all I want you to do is just roll those shoulders. Okay, let's start out a little bit easier here. Push away the ceiling. 
squeeze your shoulders together. Push away the ceiling. Squeeze those shoulders. Push away. Push away. All right, from here, we're going to slowly roll those shoulders as best as you can. You're going to feel like an absolute moron trying to do it. But I know you can do it. Let's go forward. Good. Nice job. Let's open up that ceiling. Reach, reach, reach. Dropping it down, really getting a good stretch. Open it on up. Let's switch hands. Open up. Drop it down. Open it on up. Lift, lift, lift. All right, from here we're going to sit back. Keep the tab. Sit on back. Swing side to side as we're loosening up those arms. Nice drop. Round it out. Coming back to center. All right. Let's go ahead and get used to getting up onto those hands. I want you to pick your knees up. All right. So from the side view, your hands on your platform, you're just going to pick up those knees. Driving your heels away from you, okay? And if you have the waiver press, like I do, this is a good time that you can actually use your handles if you choose to. There we go. We're just holding. Slowly lower those knees. Nice job. Press those knees up. Bring one foot forward, get into a nice stretch here. If you need to drop one knee down just for comfort, you can do that. We're just getting nice and loose here. Elevating those knees. It's all about control right here. You need to drop those knees down and bring a foot up. Pick the other knee up. Loosening up those shoulders before we get to go into straight. Nice job. Now, again, if you don't have handles, we're just going palms flat. Awesome. Let's turn those hands sideways. Turning hands sideways. Elevate those knees. Take it all the way into a push-up position if you choose to. Only if you choose to. Nice job. Bringing one foot up. Sinking low. Feeling that stretch. Taking it back. Let's switch it out. Nice job. Super proud of you for being here today. It's a great day to have a good day. Nice. Bring those knees down. All right. We're going to grab our first band. Put that band on around your wrist. Right here. Tap it out. It. You should feel some burning going on. It feels really good. I'm already starting to itch. Nice job. We're going to switch sides right here. We're going to go out, out, in, in. Out, out. In, in. Nice work. Let's switch hands. Go on the outside, other way. Now, for the 
this feels really good for you, you want to make this a notch harder, we're going to elevate those knees much harder. Nice job. Let's stay one side, tap into the left. Working at your own pace. Other side, here we go. Nice job. All right, lower those knees. That's it. Five, four, three, two, switch right here. We are on fire. Five, four, three, two, hold. This hold right here. Bringing those legs together if you want to. Without a jack. Or you can take those knees down and just feel the burn. Nice job. All right, let's sit it back. Let's get those arms stretched out. Nice job. Bring it back up. All right, from here, we're going to go with out the band. I'm going to have you take your knees out a little bit longer. All right, right here. We're going to go into a push-up position, lowering our body. Feel the platform on your chest, pushing on up. Okay? We're not doing full-blown push-ups, not yet. Because we're just beginning. Slowly lower those arms. That's it, hold. Push away. Nice job. Slowly lower. Hold. Push it on up. Nice job. Slowly lower. Hold. Push it on up. Nice job. We're going to go hands to the side. Hands are to the side. Same thing. Drop those arms down. Hold. Push it on up. It's okay if you can't go for a full push-up position. Just enjoy this. There's nothing wrong with going from the knees. There's nothing wrong with laying on the platform and enjoying that vibration to push back up. Slowly lower. Hold. That's it. Push it on up. Lower. Let's sit it on back, let those arms recover. Awesome job. All right, now we're gonna take it to the front. We're gonna take it to the front. You're gonna have a seat on top of your platform. Have a seat. Okay, you can grab your platform from behind, out in front. Have a seat on the floor. Now get your butt up off the ground. Lower yourself to the floor. Now get back up. That's it. Everything's vibrating. Everything is burning. Feels so good. All without having to work a little, not too hard, right? Not having to work too hard. That's how we'll put that. We're not going to a CrossFit workout in order to get the CrossFit results. Good. Push it up. Now we're burning. 
And yes, I'm positioning my butt all the way down on the ground. So it's okay if you sit on the ground and just enjoy this stretch right here. Really, really good for you. Pushing on up. Dropping it down. Enjoy. Good. Get it on up. Let's do five more right here. Slowly lower. Hold it right here. Get your butt up. Lower it down. That's it. Booty up. Hands can be however you want to position your hands. It doesn't make any difference. You should be at a very slow speed that's tolerable for you. Right now, I'm at a slower, lower level. I chose um, the P3 on the waiver, and it might be a little more than what most of you want to experience. So if you want to go with the one or super low level, that's totally cool. All right. All right, we're swinging ourselves back around. All right. Going back to that band. You know it. We're going to rip it up. Five, four, three, two, out. Really good stabilization exercise here for your rotator cuff if you're having shoulder pain. This is what I give my clients to do for shoulder pain. Switch it up. So let's have a seat on top. Let's get those arms out in front. Squeeze. Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades back. Now hold. Take it up. Lift tall. Back down. Hold. Pulse it. Nice. Take it up. Lift tall. Bring it back down. Good. All right, now if that's trouble for you, hands right here on the knees. Open, close, open, close. Open, close, open. That's it. Good. Having fun. Out. Good. Now again, if we need to use our hands with our knees to open, we can do that. Make it harder on yourself. Just open, release, close it shut. Good. Open, hold, close it shut. Open, hold, close it up. It's a real burner. Good. Nice. Do five more of those, and then we're going to restart the device. And then it's all legs. Nice job. Last one right here. Awesome job. Okay, grab yourself a drink. Make sure you got booty band. Right here. If you don't have a pretty fan, you can use your resistance fan that comes with your device. And we're on. Let's go ahead and get that pretty Yeah. 
shaky, shaky, shaky. Let it shake it all out. Okay? Just let our body jiggle. We want it to jiggle. That's how we get rid of everything, right? Let those hands flow through until you can find the platform. If you can't get all the way down, that's okay. Just go as far as you can. Good. It can be so challenging, right? Stand it up. Drop it down. That's it. Take it up. Drop it down. Take it up. Good. Drop it down. All right. Taking one leg off. Hand comes down. Lifting up. Hand drop down. Lift it up. Woo! That is burning. Gonna burn a hole in these bridges. Nice. All right, right here. Take your hand down as far as you feel comfortable going. Push the ceiling away. Push it away. Five, four, three, two, one. Rise on out of that. Get the cat. Those feet back up. Right here, let's bounce. Five, four, three, two. Now we step it off. So foot here, take a step off. All right, hand comes down, push it off. Hand comes down, stand it on up. Hand comes down, stand it up. Good. That's it. All right, let's hold this. Let's get a little extra burn going on here. Extra burn. We got five minutes left. That's it. Push it on up. Top of his feet. Dropping it down. Good. Now you want to make this a notch harder. We're going to take it down. Hand comes back and open. Open it up that chest. Stabilize. We are burning. So if you have a waiver, this is what I'm using right now, just the waiver, waiver press. You can get just a sitting burn using the waiver press is when you're using the rumble X. You're worried about having the right platform. It doesn't matter. You just got to get on one. Push it on up. Woo, booty's burning. Tell me we're going to burn a hole in these pants. Good. Stand it on up. All right, we're going to bounce those toes. If you have trouble with balancing, find something to hold on to. Right here, hands on the knees. Heel, heel. We're just lifting those heels. Unless you just feel comfortable right here, you just stay put. Good. Work in balance here. Nice job. All right, right here. Find the middle. Round it up. Open it up. Drop it down. Roll it up. Open up that heart to the world. Drop it down. Roll it up. Open up to the world. Last one. Roll it up. Open on up to the world. All right, now if you have a booty band, 
band. Now's the time to get that on. If you don't have one, just put your other little mini bands around your ankle. Fill an all out booty bag. All right. Right here. Open those hips. Close. Open. Squeeze those butt cheeks as tight as you can. Good. Okay, if you want to feel this a little bit more, you can take it down a little more. You really have to work to open those legs, right? Close. Open. Close. Open. Good. Now turn those heels inward. Open and sit. Stand tall. Open, sit. Stand tall. We just don't want those knees to go too far beyond those toes. Woo! Booty. Booty all out right here. Nice job. That's it. It's a real killer today. Real killer workout on the on the entry level beginner machine. So it is possible with any device you have. Nice job. All right. That is the end of that playlist. So we are going to take a break here. Go ahead. If you have your B3 bands on, it's time to get those off. And then I'm going to get my mat situated with my waiver off of it so that I can do some abdominal type work. Um, if you want to keep your little bands here and your booty band, that's all we're going to use today are the mini loop bands and the booty band. Keep it as simple. All right. And I know how much you guys love the 80s music, so I'm going to bring up the playlist I used yesterday. Playlist I used yesterday. If you can give me a just one second. I'm going to turn it down just so you can hear me in the backdrop. All right, we're going to start here. All right. Yep, I'm back. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see my whole body. Now it's time to grab yourself a drink break. We are on the move. All right, there we go. Close enough. All right. So we are laying on our back. All right, and what I want you to imagine is that you're squashing your hand. Okay, so if you can imagine laying a band underneath your back, I want you to squash that band so you can't pull it back out. Okay, pushing that band down so you can't pull it out. That engages this deep pelvic floor, okay? So we're just gonna work with rocking our hips back and squashing that rubber band underneath of our back. And then we're gonna relax, rock our hips forward so we create some extra air. You can slide the band out now, but slide it back under. Squash it so you can't pull it out. This is foundational movement right here. All right, we're holding this motion right here. So hold those bellies in position, feet are on the floor, open and close those arms. Open and close while holding that lower belly. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, we're gonna grab a knee with the band around your wrist. We're gonna hold on to that knee. The other leg goes straight up in the air. Okay, holding this knee. Slowly lower that leg, really slow. Make sure you continue to squash that rubber band underneath your back. Lighten it back up, up and down. Good. Slowly lowering. Rise on up. Nice job. Now, if we want to make this a notch harder, those of you who are all out, Hands go with the leg. So take the hands back, bring it back up. Good. Hands to the back, bring it on up. 
Now, you don't have to open those arms. You just have to maintain a little bitty bit of tension on that band so it doesn't slide down. Here's 10. Nine. Again, slow motion is name of the game. Nice. We're halfway there. There's five more. Come on. Now, if this hurts your back, okay, we're going to go with this knee bent. So if that hurts your back, drop that knee down and just bring the knee back to you. Okay, so if you have back pain with that, we're modifying. Nice job, last one right here. Nice job, bring those legs down. Now we're gonna give that leg a break, so we're gonna bring this other knee back. Okay, if you're a beginner, knee goes up, just drop your heel down. Coming back up. Just drop that heel down. Nice job. Nice and easy. Working pelvic floor, working deep abdominals, working on trimming that belly line. If you have trouble with incontinence, this will help with improving that. Nice job. Now make it harder. Push that heel through the, through the roof and drive your heel away from you. So you're pushing that leg away from you as far as you can while you're stabilizing that back. Push, push, push. Nice. We got it. Pushing away. Pushing away. Nice work. All right, from here we're gonna make it a notch harder. So those hands come to the leg. So hands go away from the body. Bring it to. Push away. Bring it to. If you're finding that this is challenging, just bring that knee, knee to you, push away with the foot to the floor, bring back to you. So as you're pushing that energy away from your body, that's what makes it harder on your abdominals. When you're just lowering your foot to the ground, your abs are not nearly as engaged. We want to make sure we're staying engaged here. All right. We're going to put, if you have the mini band, you can put it around your ankles. If you have the booty band, you're going to put it around your legs. All right. Right here. Open, close. Open, close. Making this a notch harder, we're gonna add the band around the wrist, open and close with the legs. Nice. We are shaping up those rubs, my friends. Giving you stuff a booty lift. Taking away that back pain, taking away that hip pain. No sciatica. We're gonna end with some good sciatica stretches. Open, hold right here, pulse that upper. Five, four, three, two, one, close. We're gonna slowly bring those feet down to bent knees at 90. Slowly bring them back up. Slow motion, bending those knees. Now if you have trouble with this, get rid of your band and get yourself into a long tube. Arms go underneath your tushy like you're in a long, narrow tube. Open and lift. Good. Yep, things are burning. All right. From here, we're going to take those arms to a T. So arms come out to a T. We're going to rotate our hips to one side while keeping that band open. You don't have to force it. Just keep the band open. Nice. Oh, this is a real burner. I swear I'm gonna burn some holes in these bridges today. <laughs> My butt is on fire. Good. Super slow motion. Now, if you're having trouble getting back up, I'm gonna show you a trick. We're coming down to here. We're gonna bring our feet in, rotate back up and reload it. Take it across. Bring your feet closer to you. 
reload it, okay? Slow motion. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna end this. Go ahead and take your band off. We're gonna cross one leg over, okay? Crossing one leg over. I'm gonna turn and face all of you so you can see this. We are, we are crossing one leg over like such, okay? Leg over, okay? We're gonna lay back. We're gonna bring the other leg up. And we're gonna rock it across our body. Really stretching out that hip and that butt as we reach across to the other side. So getting those hips and those ribs opened up. Nice job, take it across. Now, let's repeat that. I wanna show you how to do that again. So from here, okay? We take the knee, we bend. We lay it across, okay? If this is as high as you, if this is, is this where you can end up, that's fine. If you need to take that leg a little lower because you can't, that's okay too. You just work with what you got, okay? If you can lay it flat, that's even better, but you don't have to, okay? So from here, we're gonna bring that leg up. So if you don't wanna lay back because you don't know if you can get back up, great stretch on that sciatic right here, okay? We're gonna let it fall to the floor. As far as you can tolerate it, Showing off that beautiful butt of yours, right? Bringing it back up. Crossing it over. Good. Bringing it back up. Now when we take it down into that position laying back, we bring it up, take it across. Enjoy the stretch for just a few moments. Bring it back up. Let's do one more. Crossing it over, find the floor if you can get there. If you can't, just figure out where you're at now. Let's keep on working it. Bring it back across, foot down. Awesome. All right, what we do on one side, we gotta do to the other. You gotta spread out the greatness, right? So we're gonna cross a leg, okay? And if you can slide that other leg up, that's great. If you can't, that's okay too. We're gonna slide it on back. Bring that foot up as far as you can tolerate it. So for instance, if I can only go to here, which is not as far as what I really can do, but if you're limited to just here, you can still get a really good hip stretch right here, okay? So you just go to wherever you feel comfortable and let your body just roll. Don't fight it, just let it roll. Don't be afraid. I promise you're not gonna hurt yourself in this position. Your body wants you to do this. Take it across. Even if you've had a spinal fusion, this is a very, very good exercise to loosen things up. Good, feeling a good stretch down there in those booties. Taking it back up. Let's repeat that, okay? Wanna make sure you understand how to get into this position. Okay, so legs are straight. We cross the leg over. We slide up as far as we feel comfortable. Maybe you only feel comfortable going here. We rock it across, okay? If you want to get really creative, you can wave at everybody at the bar, at the pool, or wherever you're chilling out, right? Chillaxing. I'm chillaxing in the winter. <laughs> okay. Rolling it across. Showing off your fanny. Don't be afraid of that fanny. Take pride in that fanny. Coming back over. Down and flat. Now we're going to do it from a lane position, okay? Cross it over. Bend. Slide yourself down. Bring that leg as high as you can get it, and roll it across. Oh, jelly, that feels good. Reach for the wall. Bring it back up. Let your foot back down, let's readjust. Pull it back. Let it fall across. Let's just lay here and enjoy this for five seconds. Bring it back up. Leg comes down. And we sit ourselves up. All right. Well, that was a real booty burner. I am on fire. Um, let me get up here to the camera so I can see all of you. Okay, so I need to go back through and check out some of these comments. So let me, just give me a second here and let's see what we've got going on. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I, 
am on fire. <laughs> Though I'm not glowing as much as I normally would glow, my, my lower body's glowing because these pants don't breathe. Um, but I can feel that that workout worked really, really well. So it doesn't matter how entry level you are or how advanced you are. It doesn't matter which device you have. You just got to get on it and do something. So hopefully that beginner workout was a, a good introduction to all of you that are getting started with the bands or getting started with your platform, or maybe you're just getting started in general. So when it comes to the speed, it doesn't matter which speed you do. If I'm doing total body and I'm not trying to control the motion and I'm not really holding like these push-up positions a whole lot, um, I, I tend to go more into the higher intensity uh, type speeds because I want the junk in the trunk to rattle its way out. Um, but when we are really close to the platform, the closer you are to the platform, the more that your head and your neck and shoulders absorb that energy, which means we have to do less speed. So for me, um, on the waiver, I was using the P3 program and I was using the waiver press. Um, I also have the regular waiver, but I was using the waiver press. Um, so I used the P3, which is like middle of the road, not too fast, not too slow. And it was almost too intense for me um, to be able to really be able to stabilize control and not be like too much jarring going on up here. The further you take your body away from the unit, whether it's standing vertical or going away from the unit from behind or in front of or to the side, the less that you um, absorb that energy here in your, in your head. Now, that being said, it's not going to give you a concussion. It's not like that. Um, we actually have seven layers of connective tissue that uh, cross over our cranium. And if you have headaches or if you um, have challenges in which you feel tension in your neck or in your back, a lot of that tension can come from up here and the device will actually help calm that tension down. So it's not bad for you to have your head close to the, close to the, the unit. You're not gonna give yourself a head injury, I promise. Um, I've been there and done that um, in years past. Um, thank you, Donna. So much appreciate your comment. You are so welcome. Okay, um, I try and do these workouts. Most of the workouts that I teach are about this time of day because my family are gone and I am usually able to enjoy um, some quiet time in my own personal, uh, this is my personal workout. So I haven't done a workout that I haven't done live um, outside of um, outside of here. So all of, all of my results, the weight loss, um, almost 50 pounds now, has come from just doing this, um, you know, four or five days a week. Um, now, that being said, I don't do the hard workouts. Like, I don't do, like, the resistance bands every day. So I do get on my device and just stand um, and do nothing else but just stand and absorb the energy or I'll stand and get into a squatting position and just hold and relax into that position from a meditational standpoint. So I always start my day with it. Uh, 10 minutes in the morning while everybody's getting up and getting going. I always do it at the end of my day um, because I do so much during the day uh, when it comes to energy that I have to let it go somehow before I go to bed. So if you have restless leg syndrome or if you have other things um, going on with your extremities, it is a great way to wind down so that you can settle into a good night's sleep. So um, I, I do these specific workouts usually between the hours of 9 and 10.30 on weekdays. Um, and very seldom do I ever do them in the evening. So, um, but I always record them and share them so that you can always come back to them. If you go to the group on Facebook called Kivit Free Classes, every single workout that I have done from back to the 198 pounds today to today, you can see the whole transformation. And I haven't done anything outside of my home um, that I haven't recorded live other than working with my clients and in their own rehab programs which doesn't require much of me to demonstrate. So hopefully that helps you. Um, it, is, it is more often than not at this time. It just depends on the schedule as to how often I get to do it during, during the week or during the month. Um, I like to be able to do it far more often, um, but just my schedule can get a little hectic. So whenever I have the time, I jump in. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna share it with all of you because I don't, want, I don't like to work out alone, much like you guys don't like to work out alone, right? Um, so yes, yeah, so you can do this later. Uh, just go back, come back to this group, to this page. I keep all these saved, but if you don't want to scroll through all my information, you can go to Kivit Free Classes and, and, and go workout to workout. Boom, boom, boom. Um, okay. Yes. So, um, the shoes, these are called Vibram five fingers. Let me peel them off. Vibram five fingers. Um, there's a tremendous amount of research that states that like 80% of the neural receptors that give your brain feedback on balance, pain, anxiety, strength, all of that stuff, 80% um, of those small nerve cell bundles exist only on the skin on the bottom of your feet. 
Um, and because a lot of people have um, foot issues, so if you have foot issues or lower extremity pain, restless leg syndromes, um, your, your feet tend to be really compressed because of uh, wearing shoes a certain way, manipulative shoes, orthotics, not moving. Um, and so I started wearing these about six years ago and they separate your toes and allow you to feel the ground for what it is. Um, I don't wear these on heavy gravel, but this is a trail type shoe. Um, I also have a studio type shoe that's a, that's a five fingers, and I also have water shoes. So if I go to the beach, that's what I wear so that I can feel them. Um, but I will tell you, most of the time, a lot of my home is carpeted. My treatment rooms where I do a lot of massage and body work on other clients in pain um, is carpeted. So I work barefoot most of the time. Um, but the Vibram five finger shoes, um, you can go onto their website and um, I don't, I'm not an affiliate of theirs. I just love their stuff. Um, they had me wear a pair of these about six years ago that I demoed for them and absolutely loved them. So I just started buying them, um, but I don't wear them all the time. I wear them most of the time when I'm doing the workouts because um, I like to get traction um, without my feet sliding away, but I like to be able to open my feet up and actually feel my toes and feel the circulation. So these allow you to do that. So, and they, these are really good. If you go to the beach, if you go um, rock climbing, or if you go on some light trails where there's not a lot of uh, gravel or broken pieces, these shoes are amazing for that. So if I'm out in California on the, the beaches with all the rocks, I like walking in these because you can really grip onto stuff, kind of like, a, like, you know, like an animal. It's kind of cool how they work. Um, so that's that. Thank you so much, Bonnie. I will definitely be spreading the light today. And yes... Awesome, yes. Yeah. So, um, so that's not the, the, the mini waiver. That was the regular waiver press. Um, let me take my other shoe off. The, the mini waiver, mini waiver is this. So it's a little bit smaller, not much smaller, but this is the mini waiver. And you guys are all wondering how on earth does she get all of these units? Um, Joel sends every single unit that he makes so that I can test it and come up with some great workouts for all of you and some great medical advice for all of you because I'm a medical professional in sports medicine and also have several certifications in strength coaching and human performance as well as body work massage. So um, he resorts to me for a lot of background information and so he has me testing all of his stuff and sharing all of his great gifts and ideas and so I'm so thankful for Joel and Life Pro. And I think we've got everybody. Okay, cool. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I, I'm so thankful that you're all here. If you ever have questions, definitely reach out. If I don't respond back to you quickly, it's because my life is crazy busy. Um, and a lot of times when I'm working on clients, it's you know eight to 10 hour days. I keep my phone on do not disturb so I don't interrupt their time with me. So if I don't get back with you right away, um, be patient. I'll get back to you eventually. And uh, I, I try not to ignore anybody because I know you're all reaching out to me for a reason. And um, I have been through hell and back again several times, should have already been dead several times, and God's got me here for a reason. So I'm going to share with all of you as much as I can so that you can find your own way into being the best version that you can be um, because it's not easy. And, and when we are going through life adversity and we're not feeling good, it is much harder to get up and get going. But somebody, you know, can give you that little boost, that little fire, you know, jumpstart that flame just a little bit. If I can do that for any of you and give you hope, um, if I can learn to walk again from eight spinal injuries and fibromyalgia and a head injury after doctors told me that was really not going to happen uh, at the pace that I wanted it or the methods that uh, I wanted to do it. If I can do all of that, then you guys can bounce back too. Um, but we all have our own journey and um, be careful comparing your situation to others because I like to say comparison is a thief of joy. And um, if you're not getting results, be patient and be consistent because a lot of this did not come on in just a few weeks or a month. Um, it's taken years in order to compress and compact and adhese your connective tissue. And that's the beauty of using the whole body, the whole body vibration platforms that it breaks apart that dysfunctional tissue that's holding you back so that you can burn fat, so that you can lower stress, so that you can feel good in your mind. Um, and then the B3 bands, they're good for, they help um, give you a surge of growth hormone naturally. Um, so it's hormone regulation without having to take pills. That's why I do it, and that's how I discovered it. That being said, um, if any of you are familiar, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to their Super Bowl again. Guess who uses the B3 bands? Guess how I found out about the B3 bands? It's through the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I worked with their head athletic trainer, Rick Burkholder, a year ago. 
um, went out and, and worked with him, talked with him, learned from him. And um, they're using those for rehabilitating their guys, for using for guys in the weight room, for doing human performance outside of, home, or outside of the gym. Um, and that's two Super Bowls in like the last couple of years, like that's back to back. So if the B3 bands are working to keep them on the field and keeping their performance accelerated, um, and they're working for me, uh, we have so many great success stories of how they have changed lives like fast. Um, much like the, the success stories with the vibration platforms, really fast turnaround times with people healing and feeling better and going, you know, pain relief, instant pain relief without having to have pills. So whatever I can do to help all of you to get to that end game so that you're feeling better about you and able to live and thrive with a greater quality of life, that's God's mission for me. So thank you. God bless all of you for being here and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.